For the last 30 years, the Thames Barrier has kept London safe from the threat of severe flooding. One of the largest movable flood barriers in the world, it protects 125 square kilometres of the city. Yet the very river that London was built on could potentially threaten its future, with climate change predicted to affect rising tide levels. London would be unthinkable without the River Thames. It's thought that the ancient name for the city, Londinium, referred to the settlement by the wide river. At the height of the British Empire, the river was integral to London's dominance as a world power. Without it, vast global trading links would never have flourished. Yeah, the river is rising by an alarming rate of 4 millimetres per year. One person who has been focusing on the problem is Sarah Lavery, Programme Manager for the Environment Agency's Thames Estuary 2100 programme. Um, the TE2100 project um, is a plan for managing flood risk for London and the Thames Estuary for, uh, from now until the year 2100. The tendency for the Thames to flood can be traced to low pressures building out in the Atlantic Ocean. This can lead to tidal surges which may then be funneled down the North Sea as it narrows when reaching the English Channel and the Thames Estuary. The prospect of climate change contributing on top of these already volatile factors presents serious issues for the future. The water level required to breach the barriers is reckoned to be around 6 metres. The indications are that these types of conditions are going to become more and more frequent. Um, the current um, climate change guidance from government shows that in the next 100 years we expect to have about 1 metre higher maximum water levels than we've got today. Our calculations show that with sea level rise um, under current government uh, climate change forecasts, um, we will need another Thames barrier or equivalent flood risk management structure by the year 2070. Well, I think that um, obviously flooding is a very dramatic, um, a very dramatic um, event and makes for um, a blockbuster film. Um, we have to be very careful that people don't get muddled between facts and fiction, but generally it's a very good idea to keep people aware of the risks of flooding. If we maintain the uh, Thames tidal defences to the current high standards, we can manage that risk. But one very important thing to realise is you can never eliminate risk. And people who live in the floodplain, people who are building in the floodplain, need to be aware of those risks and what they should do. Behind me are ten movable steel gates. Each one is as tall as a building when raised and can withstand a load of around 9,000 tonnes. Each one is powered by huge hydraulic pump systems within each of those piers. The question is, will this be enough in the future if the barrier turns out to be London's most important weapon against climate change?